So you consider yourself a coffee geek? You're obsessed with where it's sourced? How it's roasted? And the million ways you can brew it? Well, these guys are the supreme coffee geeks. They've helped sequence the genome of the coffee plant and made the data public. That's huge for breeders and for consumers like you and me. Specifically, the scientists looked at the genes of the geisha variety of coffee plant, which is renowned for its complex flavors and consequent astounding price tag, like over $300 for a half pound. So to sequence a genome, we basically start with collecting leaves. We, we grind those leaves up and uh, we use some detergents and a few chemicals like ethanol. And the, the key is to extract the DNA as intact as possible. So this is the machine that does the actual sequencing. And these are called smart cells. In each of these, there are 150,000 individual cells into which DNA will drop. The machine picks up those molecules and starts sequencing them. So you can see here that these are all the molecules in one of these cells. And you get the red and yellow and green that corresponds to the letters of the DNA. By doing this over and over and over, the machine slowly builds the genome. What scientists end up with is unprecedented insight into how a coffee plant is built. The genome is really the blueprint or, or the base for the, what the genes are doing and, and trying to understand why is coffee good and why some coffee tastes better than other coffee, why some coffee might grow well in say California and Mexico. And the plant breeders can use that information to rapidly uh, combine important traits. That means we're about to enter a renaissance of coffee. Think new varieties, grown in more places, with better resistance to disease. I'll drink to that, though I probably should have mentioned I'm more of a tea man. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs>